The 9-11 attacks took a toll on all of us who were alive and aware 20 years ago this week. In Palm Springs, the attacks really hit home at St. Teresa Catholic Church. News Channel 3's Jeff Stahl introduces us to Mary Arthen, whose heart aches when she remembers her friend who died that day. This is Barbara Keating. Her death was 20 years ago on September 11th, but it's her life here in the Coachella Valley that's still being honored. Mary Arthen is the parish secretary at Palm Springs St. Teresa Catholic Church. She was married here and has attended or worked here for almost 40 years. She remembers her friend Barbara Keating fondly. She always had a smile. Good morning, Barbara. We would, you know, talk while everybody was working and Keating was on the first flight to crash into the World Trade Center towers in New York on September 11th, 2001. 2,996 people died in the attacks. Arthen's heart still aches when she remembers that dark day. I got to work and the ladies were like, Mary, we think something happened. I said, what do you mean? And they said, we think Barbara was on the plane. And I said, I was just shocked. Keating wasn't even supposed to fly that day, but was rushing home a day early from her annual summer vacation to help family with child care. She was a convert to Catholicism. Arthur says she was devout and committed. I just know, knowing her, she probably just started praying. Probably saying, or our father, or a Hail Mary. She probably, that's, she probably just closed her eyes and prayed. Because she was very spiritual, the lady. 20 years later, a photo of Keating remains displayed at the church office. St. Teresa's has remembered Keating every year, although COVID-19 shutdowns impacted last year's memorial. Children every year collect her photo and the church holds a mass for her. Even though it's been 20 years, whenever I watch it, it feels like it just happened. And I still feel that same gloomy thinking about her and everybody else that was involved. But it's just harder because we knew her personally. Even 20 years after her loss, the pain remains. To think how anybody could do that to us and that it's scary world out there. But life goes on. Today, Arthur works on the church's weekly newsletter. She says she knows her friend is still near. In Palm Springs, Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3. And our coverage on 9-11 20 years later doesn't end here. Coming up tomorrow night at 6 right here on News Channel 3, Jeff Stahl will introduce us to local veterans impacted.